By the end of this video, my theme will have an archive page template. This template is used to display blog posts that are filtered by the tags or categories they have assigned to them. First, I'm going to add a new page. From the WordPress page name pop-up menu, I'll select Archive Template. Doing this, we'll set the value in the name field to Archive. The Archive page template I'm about to build shares a lot of similarities with the home page template that I previously created. To save a little time, I'm going to duplicate the home page to use as the base layout. I'll set the new page type to Duplicate, and as you can see, the home page is already selected for me. I'll now click Create to add the page. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the WordPress data source value for the heading brick by setting it to None. I will then set the heading text value to incorporate the WordPress archive title shortcode. This shortcode will be replaced by the archive title when WordPress generates the page. The next thing I'm going to adjust is the post loop. I don't want all of my blog posts to be displayed on this page. Instead, I only want to display the posts that contain the keyword or category that has been selected. To do that, I'll select the column on the design canvas and set the loop type to content. This means the post loop will only display content that is available to the page when it's generated by WordPress. Finally, I'm going to select the row above the post loop and remove it. That's it. The archive page template is set up and ready to test. I'll export with the keyboard shortcut Command E and select to replace all content in the current export location. I'm now in my web browser on one of the blog posts from my local WordPress site that is running my theme. If I click on the vacation category link, I'm redirected to the archive page that I just created in blocks. As you can see, the title now reads Vacation Posts, and the only blog posts being shown in the post loop are those assigned to the vacation category. In the next video, I will build the author page template. This template is used to display the details and blog posts for an author.